receivers, obviously, and um, that doesn't come along very often. It, it, how do you guys limit some of the big play opportunities that they could present? Yeah, that group is extremely talented. Um, schematically, they do a great job running the football and creating space through the run game with RPO and play action, and they got some talented guys. You know, you got to provide some change ups. Um, you got to try to get some guys in in some passing windows um, that they they're not expecting. So um, I'm I'm excited for the game. Obviously, it's a huge game, and you know, we know the challenges. They look like a really good football team on tape, and you give them credit. Uh, they bought in. They they accept their roles, and and they do it really well. Purdue was able to hit some some bigger gains in addition to the trick plays. Has been a few games since the Illinois game where that's happened. In your mind, as you've broke down film, is there a common theme there with, with some of the bigger games? Is it just missed tackles? Is it them scheming well? Yeah, number number one comes missed tackles, in the, especially in the run game. That's been a lot of the big hits. And to me, it's eye discipline on the back end. You know, we've, we've gotten loose with our eyes in some situations, and, and that happened on a couple of the trick plays, but even on some other ones. Just getting your eyes uh, where they need to be and winning where you need to be, you know, where you need to win. You, know, you don't we need to win on every route on, in every coverage. So getting our guys back to, to being locked in on that and uh, the execution has to be there. Christian said you guys had a talk with him this week and just said he liked what he had been doing uh, that got him on the field last week. Can you kind of expand on you know what you guys were seeing in practice that you know you wanted to get him out there against Purdue? Yeah, I think anytime you're a role guy, you have to, you got to take ownership in what you do well. You know, we're going to put you on the field to, to do well in, in a role that you can, uh, can have success in. And, and for him, he can be a dy dynamic pass rusher for us. He has to be a physical presence because of his size and his strength. And uh, I think he's starting to figure that out for us. And that was uh, what was able to get him some, some snaps and obviously a big play in the game. What about Isaiah Green, May? Because he started the year as a starter. I know he hurt the, the thumb and kind of been in more of a reserve role. Where is he at now? And what have you seen from him in kind of an up and down year with an injury? Uh, for, for Isaiah, it's the, the physicality and the consistency. He is a young player still in this defense. And um, he has to do things a little bit differently because of his size, you know, height and, and weight. So he's got to learn how to be physical um, within his frame. And obviously, the thumb hurt that. You know, he, the thumb really hurt him uh, as far as being able to do that. And it's just kind of working through the process of, of the defense and being locked in on the details and the, and the game to game changes. And, you know, we, we need him in a big role. We need him to, to take on some more snaps for guys. Do you see the secondary starting like maybe uh, you're obviously going to be geared up because it's act week and everything like that, but because of the challenge that these receivers present, bring a little extra this week in practice? Uh, I think practice today was great. I think the energy was really high. I thought the focus was there. Guys realize it's a big game. Now you know, we got to focus in on the details and, and understand uh, the challenges of the week. Um, th there's no question the guys are going to be locked in this week, and then you got to go out there and execute it, and that's why all those little things got to show up because emotions will be high, and, and you guys, you got to get guys to, to think through that and to, to execute even though you know, the, the excitement is a little bit higher than some games. You've used a number of different cornerbacks throughout the year. At this point, is it more you know, who's playing well in practice? Because you had mentioned a few weeks ago Caesar kind of got hot. Is it, mm -hmm. um, what are the determining factors in how you decide which of those guys get to go out there since you have so many options? Um, it's just kind of like I hit on, on the details, right? Execution, right? There, there is a competitiveness side of playing that position, especially how we play. Right, he can't catch the ball. Right, you got to be locked in on the details because um, things are going to change each week and the matchups are going to change each week. And you know, we just stress to to that group, it's it's got to be like game day every day. You cannot take a day off as a corner because you're either making good habits or bad habits. And um, you know, that's to us, it's it's a lot of just seeing who's who's locked in, how they're feeling, how comfortable they are they. Um, health sometimes plays into that factor, and, and a lot of it to me is confidence. You know, that's it, the name of that position is confidence and technique, right? Do I know where to win, and do I have the right attitude to get that done against the guy that we're, we're not seeing in practice, right? You're not seeing him in the, on the scout team. You're seeing guys that are, are all American caliber receivers this week. You know, it should look you know, dominant th throughout the week when you're not going against those guys to give yourself a chance. Do you have any idea, you know, fan is going to be able to play on Saturday? Uh, we're hopeful. I mean, it's a little early in the week to, to be able to tell, but we're hopeful he's going to be able to go this week. With Reggie, is it just a matter of 
kind of the pain he can tolerate because he talked about it's been a stinger thing that he had even since high school. Do you just say, if, as long as you feel you can do it, you do it? I mean, welcome to November football. That's kind of kind of everybody at every position. You know, there there becomes a pain management aspect to football late in the season because nobody feels their best, and it's, you got to learn how to win despite that. You mentioned their, their running game. Obviously, you hear about their offensive line, the, the size that they have. But what are they doing that's making them effective with how they run? Um, the backs, I give a ton of credit. They are true contact backs. They're looking to run the first guy over. And if they run him over, they're looking to run over the second guy. And then maybe they'll try to make somebody miss out in space. Um, you give them a lot of credit for what they do. They stay on schedule. You know, They make a zero yard run three. They make a three yard run six. Um, and, and when given space, they, they're running hard and, and they're getting, you know, breaking tackles out in space when, when they make moves. So, you know, you, you have to bring it against this group. There's, you turn on any game and you can see a D lineman, a linebacker, and a DB get ran over by, by one of their running backs um, week in and week out. So um, they, they make you make a business decision every time you tackle them on, on how you're going to hit this guy. and. Are you willing to do this all day? Which I respect. You know, I, I respect that type of play. What has their quarterback been able to do this season too? The, some of the numbers, the efficiency in those things are, you know, among the national leaders. What's, what have you noticed about him? Um, I think he executes what they ask him to really well. You know, they're a big look-over team. So um, whether they're getting a certain RPOs or play action, um, I think that helps him as far as kind of how to progress through some of the reads at times. But He's making throws. I mean, he, he's throwing the ball extremely well, giving guys chances to make plays. You see guys, receivers running wide open all the time on the tape, which is unsettling you know, as a, as a coordinator. Um, but then you see him putting balls in tight windows. You see receivers going up and making plays on 50-50 on balls that are nowhere near that percentage with, with this team. They're much higher than that uh, on the offensive side. They're, they're making big plays for them. And, He's just giving guys a chance every snap. And if he doesn't like it, he's getting out of the pocket and trying to, trying to get a positive play uh, rather than taking a sack or, or a throwaway.